And, hey guys, to a new series that I somewhat hinted in the comment section that I just said. And, you know, well, I guess I should just talk about it, but oh my god, lag spike. Okay, so this, I decided to do a series on Agrarian Skies, which is, um, it's pretty much modded Skyblock. So, you know, it's going, it's going around and it's getting words. So, you know, I decided to play it because I'm enjoying it. I really enjoy it and I thought, why not? So, and also because I was planning to do a modded series, but I ended up being a complete fail. So, we are here. Anyway, so as you see, when you spawn in, you got this book called a quest book. The hardcore questing mode and all that jazz. So, when you open it, you get this dialogue. Just hold on and you'll listen. It has been a horrible 10 years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world eating- And of course, you could listen to that if you're playing. Now, I'm not gonna play the whole thing because, you know, I already heard it. And it's pretty long. Anyway, so, you see, the thing with this, the difference with this is that, you know, first of all, there's mods, and also you get these set of quests that you can do, which give you rewards, and also, you know, gives you a object objective to this whole blank world. So, I really enjoyed it, because when I always played Skyblock, I'm just like, what do I do? I mean, like, you build a mob farm, you build a home, what, and then what else? You do nothing. So, you know, if you have, like, a quest, it sort of gives you what to do, you know, sort of like, yeah. So, I thought, yeah, let's do that, and, you know, Let's see how it goes. So let's first grow some trees and then let's get some wood. And since the night, it's night, night is coming. Okay, we got ourselves a tree. You know, I always find that the game always starts with punching wood. Why can't there ever be a mod or like, why couldn't they make it so that Minecraft somehow does not start with punching with wood? Like, why couldn't it start with like, finding something in the chest which you use to mine wood? I don't know. But, you know, something, you know, along those lines. So, yeah, let's get ourselves open before I do anything. Am I in recipe mode? Yes, I am in recipe mode now. Okay, we got ourselves a crafting table, and let's make that into a crafting station, which is pretty cool because now it's like a it's like a normal crafting table. However, if you put something in there, it doesn't drop out, you know? So, no more, you know, dropping items, run to a chest, get some items, go here, craft again, and, you know, all that shenanigans. So, yeah, we're here. And let's see, what's our first quest for today? So, there's some for like, for the hoarding, go with the flow and all that thing, but let's start with learning Skyblock. Open. Now you see there's using the book. This book is a new invention from VSWE, Scott Wes, and Lord Dusk. You may have wondered how to use this book. On the off chance that you have no idea what you're doing, this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, if you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous page slash menu. If a quest is dark, it is locked and you will need to complete N E D. Yeah, sure, that's how you spell need, but um, not really. To complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. In the first menu of this book, you will have noticed several numbered sets of quests, some of which are locked. You will have to complete quests found in a different set to unlock new sets of quests. There are two types of tasks and two ways to submit this and blah blah blah, I, I'm not gonna read it. Anyway, so it says craft a wood block. So, you know, you either craft it, so you see when you're doing a quest, I could pretty much explain right now, you either craft something and they detect it, or you manually submit it into the book. Now, of course, later on you'll see there's some more mechanics into it, so we gotta pick for that. Hashtag pick, yeah! Now, this is a Tinker's pick, if you don't know, and, you know, I'll, we'll learn about Tinker's construct later on in the series. But for now, let's just think of it as a pick. Okay, so what else? There's more quests in here. Um, and before, let me, yeah, I'm in, no, why am I in peaceful? But, okay. Okay, we go back, let's see, there's the librarian, a uh, bookbinder. I don't think we could do that right now, I think that requires iron. A uh, bookbinder, nope. Book binder. Okay, so we have the book binder, which yeah, we need paper and we don't have paper, so let's do that one later. Let's see, manual completion. The second type of quest is the consumption quest, which I just explained. You pretty much have to just submit it by pressing this button. So you see, I have some planks in my inventory, manual submit, and I get this quest delivery system claim reward. 
Now you see one of the planks from my inventory got taken, so you know it takes your wood thing and then you know it gives you something in return. Okay, so we have this questing. What do you do with this questing? Well, let's look into the mighty book of white mightiness. Now, whiteness. Okay, the final way of turning in quests is the quest delivery system. This block will require you to send items through a hopper or a duck attached to the block. AE buses can also send items to the delivery system. Before you send items to the system, you'll need to key the system to the quest. Do so by selecting select task button on the lower right of the screen. So if you press that, then you could select it. And if you use this, you can do all that J as and put things in there. Anyways. So that's pretty much what they're doing. Now, if you really want to know a lot of this stuff, just actually download the whole thing and just play it. And if you have a really bad computer, just set everything really down, like distance, tiny, and what, whatnot. Doesn't make a huge difference. But then again, I'm the person who usually plays with tiny when I had a laptop, so. Yeah, I really didn't have a good computer at the time. Anyway, so yeah, we just do manual submit. I think, yeah, manual submit, and then no help given. We're gonna get this, and I did not, I didn't get a hopper. I, what? I didn't get a hopper. What's going on? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh. Uh. Uh. Um, I think this is a bug. Um, I'll just say that now, cause you see, you see, you're supposed to get a hopper with this thing, but it doesn't turn out I did. Um, you know, guys, I'm just oh, let's get them saplings, cause we need those. Yep, sapling. Let's just plant one now for now. And I really want to turn the sound off, but you know, shh, later, later. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, it's not a bug. I just didn't look in the chest. Anyway, so manual submit again, and then we get to claim our reward. Now we got a full heart. Now, you see, let's just be clear. So you see, sometimes I fell for this trap before. Sometimes you get these full hearts, but underneath it says a rotten heart, and if you eat that, bad things happen. I'm pretty sure I crashed, and I couldn't get my world back. That's what happened, I think. I'm not sure what others ha what happened to others, but that's what happened to me, so don't eat those. Just always read them before you eat it. Okay, so full heart, ding, you have added one to your total life, you have three remaining. So, in Agrarian Skies, it's sort of like in hardcore, hardcore mode, so if you die three times, you delete your world and you're done. However, you could get more, you know, you get more lives as you do more quests, and therefore you pretty much get unlimited lives, pretty much. And of course, you know, eventually, you'll pretty much be invincible, but you know, shh, that's later in the mode, that's later in the game. Anyways. We have a loop bag that's basic. 2.2 chance, not so great a reward. Hold shift, silk touch. You know what, that is pretty good, you know? Because, like, sometimes you're gonna have to pick up things like mycelium and, you know, things like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this right here and let's see, what else can we do right now? Uh, we need apples. So we need a lot of wood. So, you know, let's go plant some wood and let's go grow some wood and then we shall do all those quests. Mighty quests. I should probably make some stuff. Anyways, um, sorry for the little stuttering, it's just that it's been a while and all that stuff, so, you know, yeah, just a bit rusty. Anyways, so let's punch some more wood, and let's go and finish some quests while we're at it. Now, you see, when you're doing this, I decided to make things pretty, because, you know, pretty, because, well, when you do this, a lot of your build are cobble, and nothing else but cobble. So I decided that, you know, I might as well make things really pretty, so that's what happened. Okay, so let's make some sticks. And we're gonna make these things called blank patterns. And with these blank patterns, we can make the things that are in what we had in the quest book. Now you see, I just finished part builder, which, you know, I, you just saw me craft. Now we have to build the other stuff, and you know, I shall build with the tool station. Okay, I need to calm down, okay? so. I'm gonna teach you how to build all these stuff, but you know, if you don't help, you can always use NEI with the recipe. Just put on recipe mode and left click and right click, and then you know, that's all you gotta do. Anyway, so in order to make the tool station, we need to make a crafting table, and then we put a blank pattern over it, and we get ourselves a tool station. And what else? Uh, we need more patterns. 
put this over a wood plank and you get yourself a stencil table. And this is how you start with Tinker's Construct. And let's just place these down like so. Nope, nope, nope. Dang it. Shh, don't say it. I messed up. You're not supposed to know. Anyways, I'm just going to mine this out because I really don't like these. Oh, they're taking forever. Okay. There you go. Uh, place somewhere. Boop. Okay. Um, yeah, we got those. What else do we need? Uh, we need some chests. We need a wood barrel and we need a crook. So I'm going to make our barrel first because that's really important. So I'm going to make ourselves a barrel, put this outside and we got ourselves a barrel. Um, we're going to put this outside and now it's going to collect waters and you know, this is really important until you get a bucket. Now, you might be wondering, like, um, what are you supposed to do with a bucket? How are you supposed to get a bucket? I mean, like, sure, you could, you know, farm iron from zombies, and then you could get a bucket. But, you see, this this is modded. You could do anything in modded. So, I'll teach you later. It's just confusing. Really confusing. But, like I said, the quest, has every, the quest book has everything you need to know. Okay, so we need a crook and chest. Let's go make ourselves a chest. Okay, chest and the crook. Okay, we're done with that quest. So we can claim our reward. We can either get the Pan of Destiny or the Axe of Despair. Hmm. Now the Pan of Destiny allows you to cook your food, but the Axe of Despair is a axe. I'm gonna pick the Pan. Okay, so we're gonna get that and we're gonna get some food. And then we get ourselves a reward back. What do we get? <gasps> we got a sword and it's not repairable, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stick this in here because you know you can't. For you, for people who did play with Tinker's Construct and Agrarian Skies, you see, you can't really repair things with paper because you know that's sort of how it goes. It's sort of like um, you could just think of this as um, what's it called? It's um, it's Jaded Cats. Uh, what's the other mod pack called? It's the 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 the, the uh, Brain Burp. <laughs> Uh, it's not a great sky, it's um, a magic farm. Just think of it as modded magic farm skyblock, pretty much. So, you know, everything else with like, you know, you can't really make things out of paper or stone, you know, same thing. So I'm going to keep this there until I can replace the spiked sword, like that part, because, you know, I can't really repair it right now. Once I damage it, I can't switch parts. I'll explain that later too, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just going to shush and I'm just going to keep on going, okay? Okay, we, let's see. Um, smooth as silk. Now, this is going to take a while. So, now, this, what we need to do here is to go and farm a lot of trees until we get this thing called a silkworm. Now, in order to get silkworms, you need to use this crook, and then if you break leaves, eventually you'll get them. Now, the thing about the crook is that it increases the chance of getting saplings. So, you know, it's really useful to have... And also gives you silkworms, which you could eat. So if you're starving, and just to mind, just to tell you, you get really hungry. Oh, really, like really hungry. You get hungry really fast. And here, if you get hungry, you don't slowly die. You die like instantly. Like as soon as you hit zero, you're like. <clears throat> so yeah. Let's get more saplings because we're gonna need a lot of those to make dirt. Because we're gonna ferment those and all that stuff. We, okay, we got that stuff. Oh, I need that. <gasps> Okay, got it. Oh, I could jump on this. That's amazing. Okay. Um, never mind that. Um, let's break more stuff. Break, 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 break. So, you know, I'm gonna farm more trees, and then once I get a silkworm, I will be back. Guys, I did it. Ow, I just hit my lamp. I found the silkworm. Now, now, um, yeah, I'm gonna continue breaking these leaves, and I'm gonna show you what you do with the silkworm in order to get string, and then make some of the stuff for that quest. Okay, I will be back. And guys, we are back after I chopped that big tree over there. And now we're going to take the silkworm. And we're going to do something that will probably be really weird. We're going to plant this into a tree. And we're going to get infested leaf, leaf, leaves. Yeah, and what that's going to do is that it's going to turn white. And then there's going to be silkworms everywhere. And then that's going to turn into string if you break them with a crook and all that stuff. So yeah, that's basically it. That's, yeah. Okay, what else? Um, let's place this right here just for the fun of it. And now since let's go back. What else? We need to make those. What else can we do right now? 
that's pretty much it right now. Uh, we need some food right now, though. That's something very, very, very... Yeah, that's something. Anyways, we need some dirt. And in order to make some dirt, we're gonna take these. We're gonna put these in here. And we're gonna put eight saplings into these. And what's happening is that those are gonna ferment and sort of dry out and sort of be and compost. That's the word. And it's gonna compost into dirt. And that's gonna be it. Okay, let's put those blocks away. And see, it's already turning white, and that creeps me out a lot. Okay, now, you see, I made these stairs here because, you know, when, you see, hunger is a big thing with this mod pack, and you get hungry really easily. So in order to prevent dying, I decided to put some stairs around so I don't jump a lot, because if you do know, then jumping takes up a lot of hunger. So that's why you get hungry a lot faster when you jump and sprint instead of just sprinting. Anyways, okay, so we have a rain muffler and we have all this stuff, and... Oh, by the way, if you really want, like, if you want a step-to-step, -step, like, tutorial and stuff, but, like, Tinker's Construct, which I just made over there, then you can just go to, um, Skyla, which is, like, in one in your box, your little chest, you'll have this book, and then that's gonna tell you how to get started with, um, Tinker's Construct. And then there's also World Domination with Open Blocks, which is, like, sort of, like, what you can find in the mod Open Blocks, and there's also a Mirror Culture, which I don't really know how to play. And now it's turned into dirt! And yeah, we need to do more stuff. We need to expand our tree farm. But before that happens, before that happens, I need to do some stuff. We need a bed though. Okay, we let's make some more crooks because we have a lot of wood now. And after, okay, let's make some more wood. Make a ton of crooks. I don't know why we need that many crooks, but we always do. Let's make those crooks, and we're gonna wait until this turns white. I think. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I should probably dig under here. Um, can I dig under you? Yes, I can dig under you, I can dig under you. Now here's the thing, I know there's this little Easter egg down here. If you look down here, oh jeez. There is a chest, there's a chest here. It's the dirt chest, three, 9,000. So let's break this dirt block. Let's um, take this brown stain, put it here, get that dirt. And we have some dirt in here. So, we got some extra dirt, yay! Because, you know, dirt in the beginning of the game is really rare, so if you you, can, you need all the dirt you can, so that's quite, oh no. Yeah, you need just about every single piece of wood dirt you need. Like, surprising, like, in the beginning, you're just like, oh, we need to mine all the dirt, and that's not the only dirt we have. Nope, you can actually make dirt. Which, you know, I think that was pretty cool the first time I played it, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. We should now let's take these, let's make these into s slabs, I guess. And let's put these into some slabs. Let's get some more stuff. No, nope, more. More! Like this. And let us build out. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, it's just because, you know, for recording purpose. Skeleton. Skeleton! Okay, let's close it off. We don't need it right now. Anyways, for, you know, purposely, for, like, what you say, um, for recording purposes, I want to do something which is this game rule, keep inventory true. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys, but, like, I will turn it off eventually, but, oh, cap lock, nope, um, eventually, but for now, I just want to keep this on, and also, um, game rule, mob, griefing, oh, shoot, um, I know what I'm doing, I'm a trained professional, maybe, false, because I just don't like mob griefing, like, I mean, already, like, I think it's already off, but whatever, uh, skeleton, are you here, um, oh yeah, it's over there, anyways, I will be back when sun comes up and the dawn is rising with the blue sky up ahead of us, and I will be back and we will build out a platform and we will start expanding our tree farm and doing more stuff. Okay, I will be back. Or not. We have our pan of destiny and that's supposed to be a weapon. And the skeleton disappeared just now. Well, shoot. I was looking for that. I was looking forward to that. Uh, guys, um, future note. Do not get on here. Don't walk on this. You do not need this in your life. I will say that now. If you get on this, this is what happens, okay? I'm gonna place this here. Whoop. You get flung off. 
So if you were to step on that there, you would probably fly off into the void. So I suggest don't do that and live your life and don't do really random things, okay? So yeah, I will really be back once the dawn comes up. I keep making cuts when I don't really need to. I'm gonna harvest these things and then we're gonna start making our bed. Okay, now we're gonna make ourselves... You just have to break them with a crook and you get the string. You're also gonna get some silkworms. See, I got another one. So, you know, it's sort of like once you have one, you could keep on getting more. It's sort of like once you have one seed, you could grow lots of seeds in wheat. Let's see, we got some 12. We could probably make a bed with that, but I don't think I'm gonna do that first because I'm getting really hungry, so I might as well make a fishing pole. Uh, okay, let's do this, that, this, 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 almost there. Okay, now let's just wait those, wait for those to just decompose while we take this string and do our jazz. Okay, what else? We, first of all, let's click here, get our sky block open. What else? For string. First, we need a hammer. Oh, we could have done that first. Okay, let's go there. Um, let's make some sticks. Oh, by the way, if, with a crafting station, if you have a chest next to it, you could access that inventory while you're crafting. So, you know, that's pretty useful. But I always forget about that, so, you know. Shh. Anyways, we can make a hammer like this, and we got ourselves a hammer. Now, uh, this is quite useful because this smashes cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. And that is pretty much how you get ores in this game, and how you also get clay, how you get soul sand, and you know, it's sort of like the basis of the mod that allows this whole thing to come together. X Nilo. See? Praise X Nilo. But yeah, that's the mod that pretty much allows everything to happen. So we are there. So we got ourselves a hammer. And we're also going to need a bed. Let's make ourselves a bed because we hate the darkness. We humans were evolved to hate the darkness, I think. Hopefully. Because, you know, I don't like the dark. Let's make ourselves a bed and let's go to sleep right now. Oh, oh. Okay, there you go. Let's sleep. I'm not going to snore because I'm not really snoring. And we slept through the night. What else do we need? Let's go back. We need a fishing rod and sieve. So I'm going to make the sieve first because that's really important. We pretty much have to do this. We're going to get ourselves a silk mesh, which is also from X Nilo. And I forgot the recipe for this, so I'm just going to search it up. Uh, sieve, I think. Sieve. Yes. So we need some sticks, some planks, and oh, we need two. That's problematic. That's really problematic. Break! 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 Okay, let's hope that we can make enough for that sieve, because we need that sieve. Okay, we need to s chop this down. Okay, we should probably make ourselves an axe. Um, that's probably going to be the last thing we do. We're going to make an axe for ourselves out of the flint we have in that chest. That sh thing we have there. We're not using the flint, but with the flint we can make some tools first. So yeah, we got ourselves some wood. Let's plant down another sapling so we don't have to worry about much. Oh jeez, lag, lag. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got ourselves some silkworm. Let's put this here. Let's grow this. And let's plant ourselves a silkworm. And we're going to put this later on if we ever die of hunger. Okay, we have that. But let's put the roadblock in here. I'm just going to place it somewhere. Okay, we got that. Um, let's get ourselves another silk mesh. Let's get this. Two mesh. Um, two planks, like so. And two this equals a oak sieve. Now, this is how you're going to get your ores. Of course, I'm not going to explain that later because we're going to make ourselves an axe. So, so the first thing you have to do in um, the first construct, which, you know, pretty awesome. Like, I think you can make a normal axe like right now. Hold on. Let me just make myself a normal axe and see if that helps. No, you can't make a normal tools with wood. You can make a wooden hoe, but there's a difference. And I think you can also make a shovel, yep. But you can't make a pickaxe or anything like that. Or with stone tools either. You can make them out of iron tools though. Now, so in order to start with Tinker's Construct, we need to make things called patterns, which you see me craft before. Now, you can either craft them like this, which is the, the way it was usually attended, but in Skyblock, they made it cheaper because, you know, 
you know, why wouldn't you? And we're going to make ourselves a pattern with only six clicks. So we got ourselves a pattern. We actually need a few of these. So let's make a few. We got ourselves three. Let's make that. And we have to go to our stencil table. We're going to put these in here. And we're going to get a list of patterns we can make, which you can use to make tool parts. First of all, we need a tool rod. Now, just be sure, let's go to the tool station. If we go to the axe, which is, is the hatchet, it's called a hatchet, you're going to need an axe head and a handle. So we're going to need a handle, and we're also going to need an axe head. Now, for future, no, I'm just going to leave that there. Never mind. Forget what I said. And right here, we have ourselves a part builder. The part builder is really important because that's how you make your stuff. So if you you can make for various materials you can make various tools now um, various materials equals various parts of tools now if you hold shift on this you can see uh, what you can use right now you can use stone oh you could use stone never mind no stone you can't make out of tools for you have to use them to make casts so never mind you can't really make stone tools but you can make stone parts um you have to use flint bone obsidian netherrack or thomium of course obsidian netherrack and thomium is not in question so we're gonna have to use flint Flint isn't really that bad either. So we got ourselves that. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. So that's half. And also, just to be mine, there's also these material costs. So one flint, you know, it's one flint. So you get you just use one flint to make one axe head. However, you can see that a tool rod is 0.5 cost, which means that if I were to put a normal wood plank in here, I would get two sticks. I would get a stick, and I would get this. However, since a slab is half, of a plank, we don't have any axis, which I would prefer. So let's put that away, and we have our tool parts. We have a wooden tool rod, which looks like a stick. I don't know why they don't make it differently, but yeah, that happens. So let's make ourselves a hatchet, and we're gonna call this the um, flint chopper. I can type chop chopper. So we got ourselves the flint chopper. Now we got ourselves the flint chopper. So. I'm not going to mine the wood yet because that's going to degrade, so yeah. Um, I am starving, so I'm also going to need to break one of these. Hold on, let me just break one. String. String, please. Okay, we got ourselves some string, and we're going to finish that quest. Uh, we need some sticks for our stuff. Nope. Let's make ourselves these. Make ourselves a tool. A fishing rod, because we're going to need some food, and we can cook that with our frying pan. Ha! Shift right, no, I think just, no, shift right click and you place the thing down. It's pretty cool because you also make the sound effect. Bam! So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to need, we're going to need a fishing rod. And what else did I need? I needed food, but hold on, let me just, I don't remember what I was going to do. Anyways, we got this, the first stone. We're going to need to see this, but we're going to do that in the next episode because I feel like we're sort of wrapping up to the end of this thing. So yeah, I am starving and we're going to die. So, you know, let's might as well end the episode while fishing. Now let's see, we got our first fish. There you go. Just wait. You must be patient. All fishermen must be patient. That is how they win. That I'm not exactly patient. Nope, I didn't get it. I really need some fish right now. Okay, will you give me something? Come on, give me a fish. Give me a fish. Yes! Okay, we got ourselves a fish. So, yeah. Um, I We will continue next episode. And the next episode, we might... Um, next episode... Um, sorry about the background noise over there. Anyways, um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. In next episode, we're going to do some more infrastructure later instead of doing a lot of quests. Because doing a lot of quests all at once is pretty boring. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode, even though I had some pretty bad commentary moments this episode because I was getting really lazy and things happened. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye.